Langs and Blura. It starts by Blura. It is formed by closed serous sac, one on each side, and invaginated at it is medial aspect by the lungs. As a result of invagination, each sac become formed by two layers. Number one, visceral layer covering the corresponding lung. Number two, parietal layer lining the thoracic wall. The pleural cavity lies between the two layers. Visceral layer cover the lungs and the bases in the fissure between the loops. Parietal pleura divided into cervical, costal, diaphragmatic, and mediastinal. The surface anatomy of the pleura, this is the pleura here, and this is the parts of the pleura, cervical, projecting the through the inlet of the thorax into the root of the neck and they cover the apex of the lung. It is covered by fascia called the suprapleural membrane or Simpson's fascia. Costal pleura, this lines the inner surface of the thoracic wall. Mediastinal pleura covers the corresponding side of the mediastinum. Then the diaphragmatic pleura covers the thoracic surface of the diaphragm. Now the surface anatomy of the pleura, cervical represented by a point one inch above the medial third of the clavicle, anterior border represented by oblique line drawn from the apex passing by the sternoclavicular joint to reach the middle of the sternal angle. Blue, the sternal angle, there is a difference between right and the left sides. At the right side, it descends vertically to the level of the six costal cartilage to become continuous with the inferior border of the pleura. On the left, it descends to the level of the fourth costal cartilage, then deviates to the left margin of the sternum down to the level of the six costal cartilage. Inferior border from the last point at the six costal cartilage passes backward around the thoracic wall and across the following. Eighth rep in the mid clavicular plane, tenth rep in the mid axillary plane at ends at twelve thoracic spine, then ascend to the last point. Then pleural recesses, these are spaces in the pleural cavity, extends mainly between the thoracic wall and diaphragm, into which the lung expands during deep inspiration to act as reserve spaces. The main recesses, number one, costal diaphragmatic recess, lies at the junction between the costal pleura and diaphragmatic pleura. Costal mediastinal recess lies behind the sternum at the junction between costal pleura and mediastinal pleura. This is figures showing the pleura recesses, and this is occupied by the lung during deep inspiration. Blood and nerve supply of the pleura. Number one, blood supply, visceral pleura, supplied by bronchial and the pulmonary arteries, the veins drain in the pulmonary veins. Parietal pleura, arterial supply from arterial supply of the thoracic wall, diaphragm, and mediastinum. Veins drain in the superior vena cava. The nerve supply for parietal pleura, costal pleura is supplied by intercostal nerves, then diaphragmatic and the mediastinal pleura are supplied by phrenic nerve. The visceral pleura supplied by autonomic nerves.